Hey guys, and uh, welcome to another requested video. This time, this one has been requested by Jessica Gain, and it's basically not specific to a group, it's basically in general. So, what K pop albums would I recommend to you in general? These are the albums that I feel should be in every K pop collection. Um, <laughs> so, I was originally going to do a top 10, however, as you can see, um, there's, there's a few more than 10. <laughs> I couldn't decide. I'm really sorry. Um, so yes, these are all the albums that I love the most, that I listen to the most. That being said, there are a few exceptions. Some albums here that I haven't got, um, that I haven't put down. Um, most importantly, I will just say that I haven't really included any Big Bang stuff, apart from a couple of um, solo ones um, over here. Um, basically because I will just be putting my whole Big Bang collection down, so I'm not even going to touch Big Bang. Um, if you want to know about Big Bang, then go and watch one of my Big Bang videos. <laughs> um, so, yes, I haven't really included any, any of those. I also haven't included any FT Island albums because I can literally not choose which album to to put down. I would probably put their whole, every album that I have down. Um, that being said, I don't own a lot of their best albums um, that they have because it's um, difficult to get hold of a physical copy because they're quite rare. So that's another reason why I'm not putting any FG Island um, albums down. Um, <clears throat> I also haven't included another album which I wanted to make a bit of a special mention of um, and that is M Black's Black Style. Um, I don't own it physically, I have it on my iPad. Um, but it is hands down one of the best K-pop albums ever um, and I would love to own the physical copy one day. Um, I'm hoping that I will get around to getting it this year but who knows. Um, but I would definitely recommend M Black, um, Black Style if you um, haven't already got it. If you have got it you probably will be in agreement with me that it is amazing. Um, they, they have a lot of great music. I love M Black. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I've done this video so many times, my voice has gotten hoarse now. <laughs> um, so yes, I would definitely recommend that one. But everything else that I love is in front of you. So um, yeah, I've chosen these for the music um, and I'm going to talk through as to why I've chosen each one. Um, so first of all, over here we have Block B's Bo Blockbuster. Um, that was a bit of a mouthful for me to say. Um, I've chosen this one because, I mean, I love Block B, don't get me wrong, but since this album, I feel that they've changed their music style and I'm not really a big fan of that. So um, this is kind of like, for me, their last brilliant album. Um, you may agree with me, you may disagree with me, but that's my opinion. Um, I really love this album, it is incredible. Um, it's really, it is really nicely packaged, it's got a great photo book, but the album itself is so good. So, so good. So I would definitely recommend getting that one if you haven't already. Um, it would definitely be your, my first Block B album to get. <laughs> um, Infinite's Paradise. Um, I did a start in your Infinite collection and I said in that one that this is the place to start. Um, it's also the, the kind of era where I started liking K-pop, so back in 2011. So it has a lot of significance to me for that one as well. I would definitely recommend it. It's just nicely packaged as well, but it's their best album, and the whole era for me is my favourite, er Infinite Era. I think that was just, it was like their turning point, you know? So I, I really love it. It's really, really special to me. Um, Exo's Growl, we package. You guys should know by now this is one of my favourite albums. It's probably one of the best albums of 2013, if not the best. Um, and I absolutely love it. I listen to it more than I would like to admit to. <laughs> um, and it's really, really good. It's so, so good. I'm very much looking forward to their comeback. They had a, they had, they released some great music since then, but they have had a rough 2014. So hoping that 2015 is a little bit smoother sailing for them. Um, but yes, I would definitely recommend that if you want to start your EXO collection. I have done a starting your EXO collection video, so please check that out if you want to know more. Um, JYJ, Just Us and In Heaven, which is the one on the floor, these two here. I couldn't choose between the two because I love JYJ. You guys should know by now that I love JYJ. Jejun is my bias, so I also put his album, his first mini album is on the floor there. It's the white and red kind of thing. So these three, I just, I listen to these three a lot. They are my favourite. Jejun is my ultimate bias. Um, his voice is just incredible it's so 
it so suits rock and ballads and pop, just everything. He can just acclimatise to anything and I think he's incredible. So, Plus he's also incredibly hot. So, <laughs> um, I would definitely recommend um, getting these two, I think before 2014, because 2014 there was a great amount of music out in 2014. In Heaven would have been in my top 10, but now there's two of them and it would Oh, I just can't. So I would definitely recommend both of them and Jay Junes as well. Incredible. The last one here over here is obviously BAP's First Sensibility. Um, the last video that I uploaded was um, how to start your BAP collection and my advisement is this one. It is amazing. Um, I would definitely recommend it. The music's great. The packaging is really awesome. It comes in a, in a box and it's got a lovely thick photo book and there's just nothing bad about it. It's just flawless. Just hoping and praying that BAP will get themselves sorted and be back with us as soon as possible. Um, then we'll go over to this one. This is my little YG corner here. I have included some YG stuff. So um, yes, I've got Epic High's Shoebox, which came out last year. Act On Musicians debut album, which came out last year. Taeyang's Rise, which came out last year. And not that you can see, but this is Crush, 21's Crush, which came out last year. The only one that I've not that I've included that hasn't come out last year is GD's Coup d'etat, which is one, along with Excess Growl, is one of the best albums of 2013. Um, I've chosen these ones because these are the ones I listen to the most. I mean, Taeyang's Rise is just incredible. If you don't own this album, you haven't heard this album, then you really do need to, because it's amazing. It's so good. If you're not a fan of Big Bang, fine, I'm not here to judge you need to check this album out because it's so so good uh, similar sort of thing to 21 as well and you, I mean they're, they're incredible Act On Musicians debut album is so unlike any YG stuff it's such a lovely surprise and I really love it I love, really love Sumiyan's voice it's so calming and soothing and I, I put it great things for these guys I think they're really really good so yes um, I've never been a big fan of Epic High, so when Shoebox came out, I was really quite pleasantly surprised by the album. It's so, so good, and it's kind of turned me into an Epic High fan. So I have got a few more of their albums since I got that one as well. So, yes, big, big fan. Um, then the last one here, um, well, actually, I probably should just say the Pink Tape. So FX's Pink Tape, oh, which is one of the best packaged albums ever I mean it's worth getting this just for the packaging to be honest with you because it's so cool a lot of you may not remember the actual VHS tape but I am most definitely old enough to remember the VHS tape and yeah you literally were this size so um, yes but this is also one of the best K-pop albums ever music wise it's their best album uh, I mean Red Light is brilliant as well it's a close second but this is so so good if you've not heard this one you need to because it's really really awesome um, this one here, in between EXO and FX, is B1A4's um, Who Am I? Um, it's their best album by, f by far. It's so, so good. Um, I am going to actually just say as well. Uh, it's actually one of the best packaging because it's like a magazine. So it's got a really thick photo book. There's some very wonderful English in here and I absolutely love it. The album is, there's a lot of songs on here and I would definitely recommend this. Um, to anyone starting their B1A4 collection as well, which I recently did in my starting your B1A4 collection video. I feel like I'm selling stuff now. That's, I'm going to stop doing that now. But yes, I would definitely recommend that. I listen to that way too much. Um, then I'm going to go down this side. So we have Shiny's Lucifer here, um, an album that has a very special place in my heart. I mean, it's Shiny got me into K-pop, and this era was my favourite Shiny area and area era and I absolutely love it. I love the whole concept. The album is incredible. It's a real mixture of songs and is absolutely flawless. So I would definitely recommend Shiny's Lucifer. I have had a request to do a Shiny video so I will do one soon I promise. Um, I've also had a request to do a Tiara one but I will tell you that this is the only place to start. Breaking Heart. It is amazing. It's not their best packaging by a long shot. It's quite small in the photo book and everything but the music is so good, so so good. So I would definitely, definitely recommend these two as two of the best K-pop albums ever. So so good. Um, I would also recommend CM Blue's First Step. Uh, I love CM Blue. I mean, I was a late bloomer with CM Blue. I've always been more FT Island, but uh, I've been into CM Blue for a couple of years, and I just I love this album so much. It's so so good. It is their best album by 
by a long shot and I just absolutely love it. It's got my favourite um, track Lie on here as well which is amazing. If you've not heard Lie live then you, well that sounds a bit weird but then you should do. <laughs> but yes these three are awesome. Um, BTS. Um, so what's not to love about either of these albums? I couldn't decide again so I've got Duck and Wild and School Love Affair. Um, I mean they, they package their albums so brilliantly. There's such thick photo books. There's so much involved with it. It's so so good. Um, but the music is incredible. These guys, considering that they're in a small company as well, they've got a lot of control over their music. They do remind me an awful lot of Big Bang um, in that respect. Um, I just love them. I think they're so talented, they're so funny and they're such dorks. I really just absolutely love them. Um, so I would definitely recommend either of these two. They're so, so good. Um, and then our last few just to mention is this one here is Girls' Generation's first Japanese album. And uh, it might surprise you that I've, I've chosen that one rather than, say, a Korean one. I mean, if I, if I was to choose a Korean one, most K-pop fans have got the boys in the tin. Um, so I would probably recommend that one. But for me, their Japanese album, their first Japanese album is their best one. It's the one I listen to the most. I absolutely adore it. So that's the reason why I've chosen it. Um, you can also see over here... Um, TVXQ, DBSK, Bongbang Shinki, whatever you want to call them, um, Myrotic. I mean, this is just an absolute thing of beauty. Um, I've got a lot of glare, so I'm just going to put it there. I mean, this is, there's lots of different versions when it comes to buying TVXQ. It's very expensive if you're a TVXQ fan. But um, this is their best album for me. It's just incredible and uh, I absolutely love it, so I would definitely recommend you having a listen to this. It's really, really good. I absolutely love it. So it's most definitely one of the best albums ever. I would make my top ten. Uh, the last two albums is I've got Vix Voodoo, um, which is just amazing. I love this era. It's my favourite Vix kind of era, and this album has got a lot of tracks on here, a lot of new tracks, but a lot of their older tracks as well. So it's a bit of a compilation album. And the photo book, the concept, everything about this comeback was just incredible and I absolutely love it so I would definitely recommend. Um, and then the last album to recommend, I'm not even sure if you're aware of what this album is because it's so dark, but it is Beast Fiction and Fact. Um, one of the best K-pop albums ever. I mean this is just incredible. Um, this this era was around about the time I got into K-pop and um, I just oh just love it so much. It's got my favourite Beast track, You, on there. And this album is absolutely flawless. I cannot tell you how much you need to listen to this album if you've not heard it. It's so, so good. I love it so much. So yes, that's it guys. That's the albums that I would definitely recommend. Um, I would never um, get rid of them. They are just incredible, absolutely flawless. And I hope that this helps. Maybe you've been um and ah and about one of these albums and maybe I've helped you decide. If you have, then please get them because they're amazing. Um, that's it. If you've got any more requests, I've had a request to do Shiny and Tiara and Beast. But if you have any more, then please feel free to leave a request uh, in the comments below. Um, also, if you agree or disagree with my choices, if you want to um, say about any more albums that should be in this video, then please you know what to do. Drop a comment. Till next time guys. Ciao.